G'day, I'm Stephen Warrington from CFA. CFA has both a statutory and a moral obligation to protect the lives and properties of all Victorians from fire. As one of the biggest and most experienced fire services in the world, there's probably none that do it better than us, certainly from an operational perspective anyway. But can we do it even better? And the learnings are to be had from all over the world. If you look at the, one of the most developed countries in the world, the USA, in 2005 they had an event called Hurricane Katrina, where with even more fire trucks, more ambulances, more police cars than we will ever have, over 1,800 people lost their lives in that event. If I move forward to another very developed country, in 2011 the Japanese had a tsunami. Over 10,000 people died. 10,000. They had plenty of appliances. Do you think fire trucks and helicopters or ambulance could have saved everybody's lives? No. Were those that survived sitting around and waiting for a text message to leave? No. It's what individuals did themselves that determined whether they lived or died. Not waiting for a warning or a fire truck to arrive. We only have to look in our own backyard. In 2009, 173 people died in those bushfires. We lost over 2,000 homes, and how many trucks did we have on the road that day? 655. Do your own maths. 2,000 homes lost, 655 fire trucks. Clearly, we cannot get to everyone's house. Clearly, it's what residents do themselves, the decisions they make, that will determine whether they live or whether they die. So think about it. How can we as an emergency service save more lives and property than we currently do now? I put to you it's not with the provision of a fire truck because we've already done that better than anyone else. It is about how we work with our communities. It's about how we engage with our communities so they make informed decisions. It's about how you do that in your local area. And we've recognised the strength of that. It's not about Stephen Warrington or some shiny bums from headquarters coming out and telling our communities what to do. It's about what you at your local brigade do in educating and working with your own communities. To some of you, you may be sitting there thinking, here they go again, telling us to do more things. But for a lot of you, you are already doing it. Whether it's an open day, whether it's a display, whether it's a door knock or simply talking to the neighbours over the fence, it's about telling them what to do as if CFA weren't there and that conversation or that single thing that you do in your community will potentially save more lives than we will ever do by just sending a fire truck. It's such a powerful thing that you, you can do, that we want you to do, to talk to your community. To, to some of you, community engagement around fire safety will be new business, and we encourage you to get on board and do just that. To some of you, you're already doing it. So keep it up and build on what it is. Whatever the case may be, enjoy the great examples from CFA members in this video. And let's get out there and engage our communities on fire safety. And through that, we can save more lives.